So Minecraft 1.19.3 is out and your server is unjoinable. You try to click on it, it says please use 1.19.2, but you want to stay on the latest version because you want the new LA skins or something else. I don't know. You want to update to Minecraft 1.19.3. How do you do it? Well, first things first, the easiest way to update your server is actually using a service like Apex Minecraft Hosting where you can host your server. They take care of the hardware. They take care of everything. All you've got to do is go in and choose which mod pack you want or choose which version you want, which that's how you update, by the way. You just choose the new version and you're good to go on Apex Minecraft Hosting. On top of that, Apex has 24 hours, 7 day a week support, and we host all of our servers on Apex Minecraft hosting because they're just that good. So go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to start your very own 24 hour Minecraft server that you can make public or private. Like I said, it's hosted on their hardware, meaning it's not lagging your computer, and they take care of the security, meaning you don't have to worry about DDoS or anything like that. So again, first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, how do we update this server though if the server is hosted on your own computer? Well, it's actually very, very simple, but the first thing we need to do is download the updated 1.19.3 server file. So to do that, we have a link in the description down below. It is this, mcversions.net. Now right now, you can download 1.19.3 from Mojang's website, from minecraft.net, but in the future, you can't. Well, at least you can't without a lot of kind of workarounds. The easiest way to do this is actually going to be coming here, which is mcversions.net in the description, the second link down below, and then clicking download for 1.19.3. Then click the download server jar link there, and in the bottom left, the server.jar will download. You may need to keep or save it depending on your browser, but this actually downloads from Mojang servers. It's just linking out on the website here to that and downloading it. So nevertheless, we can now minimize this, and this is in our downloads folder. You probably know how to find that, but you can come here to the top left, type in downloads. You may have a downloads folder, click on it. If you don't, open up File Explorer. And then under this PC, you'll have a downloads folder in the left-hand menu bar. Then take the server.jar and drag that to our desktop. Now, before we update our server, we actually should once stop it. That's important. So let's go ahead and stop the server properly by typing stop there, letting that close out. But we also want to back it up. So the server we have is right here. This is our Minecraft 1.19.2 vanilla server. And to back it up, it's actually really easy. Just right click on it, click on copy, and then let's create a new folder by right clicking, creating a new folder, and we'll do backup 1.19.2 server, right like so. Open this up and then paste this in here. I accidentally named this wrong. It should be 1.19.2 server. So now you have this. This is a backup of your server. Should something go wrong, you can always come here and restart your server right from where it was in 1.19.2. By the way, if you're running a modded server or a server with plugins, we'll talk about that towards the end. But we've got our backup here. We can now move this over to the side and update our server. To do that, open up your server directory and then delete the server.jar that's in here right click and delete, boom. Then drag and drop the new server.jar in, and it's that simple. Now start your server like you normally would. So in this case, it's gonna be double clicking the server.jar. If you have a run.bat file, double click on that and open it up. It doesn't matter. All you wanna do is just open your server like you normally would. As you can see, it's preparing the spawn area. Now if we come back in game here, we go to multiplayer and proceed. It can be joined because it's on 1.19.3 now, just like our client. Boom, there we go. Awesome stuff. That was mean. I didn't mean to do that. So that's how you can update a vanilla server. But let's talk about modded servers real quick. They are a bit different. Modded servers actually require you to make sure the mods are updated. So you can't just move the jar file over. You need to do that. You need to get the new forge or fabric server jar and add that and replace it. But if you just do that, you're probably going to corrupt your server. You'll also need to make sure every single mod is updated and working in 1.19.3 as well. This is why some modded servers are actually still running 1.12 or 1.16 because of these updates are so difficult to do. For this reason, I actually just recommend you kind of sticking on a version unless there's a feature you have to have and only doing, you know, new mods every major version. So start a new modded server every major version. You can update a modded server. I'm not saying you can't, but it is more difficult. Plugin servers are a little bit easier. You will need to make sure that all the plugins are updated, but if you switch out your paper server.jar, for example, for the new 1.19.3 one, you start the server, it's probably not gonna corrupt anything. Make sure you do backup stuff no matter what though. That's why we did that, because if and when you do have something that gets corrupted or you lose some files, you can always recover it from your backup, and that's what's great. So on a paper server, it's okay to just replace the jar and then see what plugins are broken. Go ahead, start the server, see what's broken, and then replace those as you need them. Truthfully, you should update everything to the 1.19.3 version, but some plugins don't need to be updated and never will be, like Vault, for example. So 
With that being said, that's how you can update a vanilla, modded, and plug-in based Minecraft server to 1.19.3 or any version. This process is relatively the same, but we do these for every version just in case something's different and just so we're always here to help. But no less, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the video on your screen right now because YouTube thinks you'll like it, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.